This is the contractile unit of muscle where contraction occurs. The overlap of actin and myosin is the colored strings on the stick. The Z disc are the outer plates and the M line is the middle plate. The M line contains myosin and Z disc contains actin. The myosin has cross bridges on it which connect to the active site on the actin. The axon attaches to the neurotran neuromuscular junction and neurotransmitters drop down from the axon into the muscular receptors and the membrane has now been polarized. Then the charge travels down the T-tubule and calcium ions are released and these ions travel to the sarcomere. Then they attach to the tra tropomyosin and then the tropomyosin unwinds the then the active site are open cross bridges from the myosin then attached to the active sites on the actin and ATP is broken of from broken off from the cross bridges that allow it to be attached to the active site and this occurs by ATP hydrolysis and this causes a power stroke then it is released when ATP is reattached to the cross bridges in rigor mortis, the membrane of the muscle cell become more permeable to calcium ions. This makes living muscle cells expend energy to transport calcium ions to the outside of the cells. The calcium ions that flow into the muscle cell cause cross bridge attachment between the actin and the myosin. The two fibers work together in causing muscle contraction. The cross bridge between these two fibers cause muscle fibers to ratchet smaller and smaller until they are completely contracted. For the contracted state to release, ATP is needed. The fibers will uh, is ATP is needed. The fibers will stay connected until the the muscles start to decompose. Then ATP will be released.